covering the week's top tech stories with a slight Linux bias. After orbiting the near-Earth asteroid Bennu for nearly two years, NASA's OSIRIS-REx spacecraft successfully touched down and reached out its robotic arm to collect a sample from the asteroid's surface last week. The sample will be returned to Earth in 2023. To achieve this historic first for NASA, a van-sized spacecraft had to briefly touch down its arm in a landing site called Nightingale. The site is the width of a few parking spaces. The arm reached out to collect a sample, which could be between 2 ounces and 2 kilograms. Then the spacecraft backed away to safety. We have never done this before. We're actually going to collect a sample and bring it back down to Earth for further examination by scientists. In order to achieve that objective, the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft has been navigating around Bennu for about the last two years, studying it in great detail and also overcoming a number of challenges that Bennu has presented. We were looking for locations on Bennu that were 50 meters in diameter, relatively flat, and covered with fine grain material. And by fine grain material, I mean stuff that's the size of a dime or smaller. We realized that there were no sites on Bennu that even came close to meeting this criteria. Everywhere we looked was too small and covered with boulders. So we actually had to fly a number of additional close passes over the asteroid and rethink our entire plan for grabbing the sample. The tag event is our touch and go event, which is where we'll actually be retrieving the sample from asteroid Bennu. We start with a series of maneuvers, one of them being the checkpoint burn, which is where we'll actually check our position and velocity in relation to the sample site. And then the match point burn, about 10 minutes later, will zero out our horizontal velocity relative to the surface. And then about 10 minutes after that, we make contact with the tag sam, fire the gas bottle, and then back away. And we hope to get at least 60 grams of sample, and then we'll be able to store that and bring it back down to Earth. Everything went perfectly based on the data returned by the spacecraft, according to Dante Loretta, the mission's principal investigator and a professor at the University of Arizona Lunar and Planetary Laboratory. He said he feels transcendent and the team is exuberant based on the current data. Loretta said in a statement, After over a decade of planning, the team is overjoyed at the success of today's sampling attempt. I look forward to analyzing the data and to determine the mass of sample collected. We have to verify that we have a proper sample. First, we're going to image the tag SAM head by sticking it in front of one of the cameras. Then we're going to do a maneuver called the sample mass measurement in which we stick out the arm and we spin the spacecraft in order for us to decide if we've collected enough mass to be able to stow the sample and return home or if we have to try again. Preliminary data show the sampling head touched Bennu's surface for approximately six seconds, after which the spacecraft performed a back away burn. Thomas Serbuchan, Associate Administrator for NASA Science Mission Directorate, said in a statement, A piece of primordial rock that has witnessed our solar system's entire history may now be ready to come home for generations of scientific discovery, and we can't wait to see what comes next. The mission, which stands for Origins, Spectral Interpretation, Resource Identification, Security, Regolith Explorer, launched in September 2016. Since arriving at Bennu, the spacecraft and its cameras have been collecting and sending back data and images to help the team learn more about the asteroid's composition and map out the best potential landing sites to collect samples. The main event of the mission is the Touch and Go Sample Collection event, or TAG, that occurred last week. The event took about four and a half hours total to unfold, and the spacecraft executed three maneuvers to collect the sample from Bennu, which could help scientists understand not only more about asteroids that could impact Earth, but also about how planets formed and life began. Big thanks to Roy W. Nash and our community of viewers for submitting stories to us this week. Thanks for watching the Category 5.TV Newsroom. Don't forget to like and, sub and subscribe for all your tech news with a slight Linux bias. And if you appreciate what we do, become a patron at patreon.com slash category5. From the Category 5.TV Newsroom, I'm Becca Ferguson. 